everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister back with another free balloon animal tutorial just for you guys. This week we're continuing our super simple holiday balloon theme and we're going to learn how to make a candy cane sword. This is a great one for holiday line work and even birthday parties and restaurants. It is such an eye-catching design with the candy cane blade and the green, red, white, and green. It just really draws some attention and eyes. And with the double balloon here, it just really makes it a nice sturdy sword. <laughs> And then it gives you some extra protection from popping because if one of these colors pops, you might still have the other one left. And so you'll still have sort of a sword. <laughs> so I love the candy cane sword. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. In this tutorial, I'm actually gonna be using a chrome green balloon just because I wanna see what it would look like with chrome. So I've inflated my balloon with about a two inch tail there. And for the handle on this, it's just like the handle on the diamond sword, which is really just the standard sword that I do now. And you're gonna do about a four inch bubble and then just a round bubble. And then another bubble the same size as this one. And then take the knot to wrap it around and get it locked in place. Aren't these chrome balloons cool? Especially with the light. Okay. <laughs> now we need to do another set just like this. So another about a four inch bubble, round bubble, and bring it back into the center. So now you've got a bow tie or duck feet or something like that. Now for the part that you're gonna hold on to, it's the same as this, but I make it just a tad bit longer. And if you wanna be really efficient, you can kind of use up the rest of your balloon on this part, so make it as long as you need to, to not have to cut anything. And that is ideal for line work. So I've just got a little tiny bit here at the end, I'm gonna pinch off and wrap it around. There we go. Now if you want your handle part to be a little bit shorter, just inflate your balloon a little bit less and then you won't have it so long. Now the next step is to grab a red 260 and you're gonna fully inflate it and then just burp it really good before you tie it off. So just let a little bit of air out. We're gonna fold it in half and find the middle point. We'll place your fingers on that middle point and then twist it. And we're just gonna spiral this. So hopefully you got some practice spiraling with last week's wreath design. I still have it on my wall a week later, looking good. So we're gonna just spiral this nice and tight, as tight as you can. Then when you get to the end, you're gonna twist both balloons together. So you've got two little bubbles like that. You're gonna take those two bubbles and you're gonna place them in front of your sword at the intersection where everything is twisted together. Okay, and I hold it like this so both bubbles are kind of flat up against the sword. Um, holding it with my thumb, I take my other hand here and I grab one of these, what are they called? I don't know. <laughs> one of these green things we made and I take the whole blade of the sword in one hand and I twist those two around each other one time. Okay, so then you're gonna come up with something like this. You need to move one of these bubbles just right over to the other side so that it's all even. And then there you go. Everything is supported and even and it's this is a nice uh, firm steady sword that's great for whacking people with. <laughs> And so um, this is my standard sword. I also do it in blue and call it a diamond sword. But to make it a candy cane sword. All right, so you're gonna need a white 160 for this next part. And you're just going to tie the tail of your 160 into our intersection here. So we'll call it where everything is twisted together. And on the 160, I didn't fully inflate it. It's about two inches uninflated there at the end because we're really not gonna use this. So it's gonna be longer than we need. But what we're gonna do is we're just going to take our 160, it's gonna follow the crease of our spiral all the way up. And you wanna make sure that you're pulling it kind of tight because you don't want it to separate. 
when you get close to the top, I'm about half an inch from the top, I'm gonna make a twist. See that? So it's not right at the top. And then I'm gonna pull that over. So that will really hold everything together nice and tight. And then we're gonna follow the other crease of the spiral all the way back down. And once we get to the bottom, I'm just gonna twist off my white. And then we're going to twist it into the base here, the intersection. <laughs> I think I need some traffic signals or something. The rest of that, I'm gonna get rid of it, even everything back out here. And that is the candy cane sword. Don't need to draw anything. You just hand it over and go on to the next customer. So what do you guys think of this? Let me know, isn't this super fun and bright and festive? And what do you guys think of this chrome handle? Isn't that fun? The holidays should be shiny, right? So um, I actually like it with the chrome. Here it is again with just a dark green. So let me know which one of these is your favorite and which one you're gonna be using for your holiday gifts this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, through the rest of December, I'm gonna be doing more simple holiday balloons like this. I realize I really don't have a lot of holiday tutorials um, for the winter season stuff. So I'm gonna be trying to upload some more of those and also I'm working on a holiday clip art pack so you can check that out at the twistersister.com and i've just changed my website so now you purchase your clothing directly from the manufacturers which means they get started on it right away don't have to wait on me to do anything and they can ship it to you a lot faster so hopefully all the holiday orders from black friday this year will get to everybody a lot faster and check out my site because some of the clothing websites are, still have discounts going on for the Black Friday stuff. So check that out. There's like 20 and 30% off stuff. Um, I know Redbubble stuff is 25% off today. And these websites are always doing sales and discounts. So I think it'll be just a better experience for you guys. I wanna have a lot of happy customers. Um, so I hope that this change goes over well. And then the twistersister.com is all clip art and video tutorials, so that's easier on me as well. Hope you guys like that change, and don't forget to tune in on my Facebook page for the lives that I do on Tuesdays where we're gonna announce contest winners, and I'll send you guys some little goodies in the mail if you win that contest. All you gotta do is post a picture of your Tutorial Tuesday creation for that week on Facebook and tag hashtag Twister Sister so I see it and you'll be entered to win a little goodie bag from me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I sure hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you try it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed. Put out new videos every Tuesday. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. Bye.